Okay, I get this question a lot. What is a topper? Well, first of all, I have Jojo here and she's a gorgeous topper. And I'm gonna show you what a topper is. First of all, every once in a while, I like to give everybody a, uh, <laughs> a realistic view of what my hair really looks like in person with no hair powder on or anything. Look at how gross and baby fine. Look at that, look at all that gray. I don't even bother touching it up anymore, guys, because what's the point? Look at all that. This used to really upset me, but now, you know what? It's been used as a blessing, so I'll just take it as it is because I love hair wear. And I'm gonna show you today what a topper is. A topper is pretty much like a half to a quarter wig. So it's not a full wig, it's just part of a wig. And it sits right on top of your head like a yarmulke, if you guys know what a yarmulke is that Jewish men wear. Um, and it just covers those parts that you need a thinning. Now toppers can range from like a little tiny one that goes here to like a almost full wig, like 10 by 10 size. This one happens to be a nine by nine and hers is, this is Jojo. This is Brazilian texture hair. And typically they come with the comb up front and then all the clips around very thin hairline and then the really realistic silk and the thing I like about these bigger toppers I find bigger toppers very comfortable but for somebody like me that wants length but you know obviously my hair is never going to get long it's going to stay like this probably and get even like raggeded more raggeded I just made up a word <laughs> more more just thin and yuck on the ends um, so if I want to get some length and not have to wear extensions or any junk like that, I can pop on a topper. So let me show you Jojo. Jojo is 25 inches. She is Brazilian texture hair. She's super long, super pretty. She is like a medium chocolate brown at the roots and then she goes into just a lighter brown slightly, but it's a very subtle ombre. Okay, so I also make toppers that have the Velcro strip right there too. If you don't like combs, you can do the little Velcro stick and that's called Vela. Or some people prefer just clips here. So really it's gonna be up to you on what you want to wear and how you want to wear it. So the proper way to put on a topper is just kind of part your hair off where you usually part. And then you're gonna take the topper piece and you're gonna line it up with your part now the comb is made to like scoop in to kind of hold that hair in place. And then the clips, you kind of stretch. I like to call it stretch and then you scoop and clip. Stretch, scoop, snap. Stretch, oh my gosh, I just, I'm a genius. Stretch, scoop, snap. Stretch, scoop, snap. That's how you put on a topper. Stretch. So, oh my gosh, that's great, great. Somebody write that down. I'm all alone. So somebody write me down, write that down or I will forget. Okay, so here we go. Here is Jojo. Look how pretty. Okay, now the nine by nine gives me the ability to go longer and not have to wear a wig. So see, it's enough thickness and density to cover my hair and not have to wear a full wig. Now, some women are just comfortable in toppers. They're not ready to go to wigs. I wore toppers for years and years and years, and I love toppers, but I was getting irritated by the clips and the comb, and once I found wigs, I just really, I loved a good wig more. So it's weird for me now when I go back in toppers because I'm so used to wigs, uh, but sometimes the topper's nice because it's just, it is so, you know, lightweight and, it's not a full coverage cap. So some people, you know, still aren't ready for a full wig. Um, and the cool thing about toppers is what you can do with most of my wigs too, but you can pull up in a nice little ponytail. Okay. And then some people, what they like to do with the topper is set it back just a little bit and then pull out their own bio hair and then kind of comb that natural bio hair into the front, which makes it look even more realistic. But a lot of times I don't pull any bio hair out. It's just really, it's up to you and what you prefer. Um, so this is the silk top, which is a super realistic scalp. I have cut lots of layers into this one. You can see these layers start kind of short here and then get longer and longer and longer. 
I like layers when I'm wearing a long piece just because my face is kind of longer. And so I feel like if I don't have layer and off, then it just looks like, mm, and it's just not a good look for me. So this is Jojo, she's 25 inches. She's a very, very slight ombre, medium brown or dark brown actually, a dark chocolate brown into a subtle medium golden brown on the ends. She's got lots of fun layers. So if you like layers, this is your Chica. So the layers start right about there, which will also look really cute if halfway pulled up or in a ponytail and you just let those kind of side pieces hang out. Gorge. And also once again with the hopper, <laughs> hair everywhere all the time. I eat hair every day. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds so gross. Um, so with the topper, again, stretch, scoop, snap. I like that. But I don't remember what I was going to say. I'll put it in the comments and on her listing. But JoJo is up. She is for sale. And she's a 9 by 9 And she is a great piece if somebody wants to go from a little shorter to longer. It's got that great coverage and just a nice, really pretty, pretty, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind like usual. Just a nice, pretty, subtle ombre. Okay, somebody go get Jojo, cause she's hot. If anybody wants to add Vela to this as well, you can, that's an extra $50, but some people want to do the Vela, some people don't. It's really your call. Bye.